Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we're going to discuss what are mutations. And this is just an introductory video on mutations. So let's start with the topic mutations. What is a mutation? Mutation is basically is a mistake in the DNA sequence. Suppose you have a DNA sequence which is ATG, CTG. This is the example sequence and here you can see if one nucleotide is changed here you can see i have changed g to t the whole sequence is going to change and this changes everything mutations are important because uh, this is going to affect the function of the protein from from this DNA sequence, which will be the final product, right? And what are the different causes for the mutation? Mutation, they are uh, they are induced by chemicals. They can be induced by cigarette smoke, radiations. There are many factors that are responsible for the uh, DNA damage, and these factors they cause the uh, error in the DNA replication. What is DNA replication? DNA replication is basically the process of duplication of the DNA sequence. And when there is the error, you will find a sequence error in that in the daughter DNA uh, sequence. So you can see here, uh, I have shown in the uh, red dot. So now let's move on to the types. When we talk about the types, there are three basic types that we uh, want to first discuss. First is replacement, second deletion, third is insertion. What are these? So I can give you the example of the same sequence, which is ATGCTG. And suppose you have one nucleotide that is replaced by another nucleotide. And in this case, you can see G is replaced by T. So it's a simple replacement. Second is the deletion. In deletion, what is going to happen, a specific nucleotide or a stretch of nucleotides is going to disappear from the sequence. So it's going to get deleted and that will change the whole sequence. And next is the insertion when you have a new nucleotide that is incorporated into the old sequence. So here you can see I have added T and that, that is also going to change everything. So these are the basic types. Now let's discuss about the transfer of the mutations. For example, if you have mutation in the somatic cell, if you have a mutation in the germline cell, what will happen in that case? If you have mutation in the somatic cell, mutation will not be transferred to the offspring. It's important because over the course of time, you can acquire mutation in the somatic cells. But if you have the mutation in the germline cells, they are transferred to the offspring. So this is an important point that you need to remember. So germline cells like sperms and egg, if you have mutation in those cells, offspring will acquire those mutations. Now, the effect of mutation can lead to genetic disorders. And here I can give you one example, which is sickle cell anemia. And this disease happens only because of one nucleotide substitution in the gene of a specific protein which carries oxygen, that is hemoglobin. The gene of that particular protein have this particular has this particular mutation and because of that, the function is affected and you get this disease. And that is why our understanding of cells and the genetics is important so that we can do the early diagnosis as well as find cure for these genetic disorders. I hope that this video was helpful for you to understand the mutations, what are the different types of mutations, what is the importance of mutation, and I will bring more detailed videos in my upcoming video lectures i'm going to cover more uh, these of uh, these specific topics so please stay tuned and watch all those videos these videos are going to help you to understand these topics and i wish you good luck in your studies thank you